Hello everyone, welcome back to the Banner Saga. We are here with uh, Hawkins' party. It's Hawkins, as I've been told, apparently. We're with uh, Hawkins' party, we're on the road, and we've got some crap going on immediately. You overhear a conversation while marching alongside the warriors. I'm happy to stomp some slags as much as the next Varl, but I didn't join up to take orders from Hawkins, says one. Apparently he doesn't realize you're within earshot. Not willing to die for him either, so we've got a... Bastard... So a, a, a massive asshole right here. He just He's insubordinate and he does not want to take orders from us uh, because we were thrust upon him, I guess. What he's not realizing is that that responsibility was thrust upon us as well. <laughs> it wasn't exactly our choice either, but we can make our presence known, but walk on. You know, it's kind of a bit of a dick move, that one, actually. We can challenge the Varl to a fight, threaten them loudly, or blindside him. And I think we can threaten him loudly. Actually, I could challenge him to a fight. That seems like a Hawkins thing to do. Here we go. We're challenging him to a fight. Who will you take orders from? You ask loudly. Vognir's dead. We can decide right now. You raise your fist. He does the same, reluctantly. His best shot's not bad, but you've had a lot worse. You grab him by the horn, swing his entire massive frame through the air, and plant him into the ground. <laughs> Holy shit, we just face-planted him straight into the snow like a little baby. What's his name? You ask his companions. Gris. Take care of Gris, you reply. You hear them laughing at his misfortune as you wander off. What a little bitch Gris turned out to be. Uh, so we just proved to Gris that we are Alpha, and we put him down in the snow. So he's got no choice but to listen to us now, otherwise we'll... <laughs> his ass is grass. A small gathering of tents come into view, group of merchants from the look of it. You ask what they're doing here. We were camped out at the Godstone ahead, one tells you, leaving an offering to Denglier as one does. His expression turns. Dredge started appearing out of nowhere. Some of us stayed. Thought the Godstone to be safe, but damned if I know why. We've been dodging them since we left. Assure them the way to Strand is clear and see them off. Okay, let's see if they have anything to trade, first of all. Not much, he replies. Anything of value we left at the Godstone. I've never seen this many Varl in one place before. You're off to deal with those, Dredge? You nod. We could part with some supplies if you need them. We'll take them how much? Uh, I'll give them freely. Fucking nice. Clearing the road is more than we could ask. I have one request, though. My wife's brother stayed at the Godstone. You'll know him by a necklace with many gold rings. If you see him, say we are safely in Strand. You agree, and the merchants continue onward. Okay, so we just got some supplies. But now we have a bit of a side quest to see if we can find that motherfucker at the Godstone with his bling, his gold chain with many rings. I'm not sure what that even means. Like, many golden links? Or just rings on it from fallen foes? Who knows? The caravan slows unexpectedly. Word travels down the line and then to Mogir, who tells you, Dredge know we're coming. Probably saw us back at Vetterfell and did their usual lurking. Could have been bad if we'd plotted into them, but we saw them first. Dredge watch you, waiting to see what you do. When's the last time you commanded a few hundred, Haken? Uh, Haken, my mistake, asked Mogir. Don't overthink it. The warriors can take care of themselves. War! Oh my goodness, we got a new mechanic. I didn't, I'm not sure if I've encountered this. War! When you come across more enemies than your party can handle, you'll engage in war. Give your army orders to fit the situation, but be prepared to get your own hands dirty, too. By making battle easier for yourself, you'll end up with higher casualties. Or you can take the burden on yourself with a harder battle, but save more lives. Okay, I think I've got this sorted. Uh, oh, okay, so war is <laughs> basically a bunch of dialogues. We have to make some choices. Uh, dredge line the battlefield, weapons drawn, a fight seems inevitable. You take a quick head count, there must be at least 368 of them. Wow, that's a quick head count? <laughs> that's a very freaking exact number. Holy shit, I was thinking maybe like, oh, uh, roughly 200 to 400, but no, we've got 368 down to the last one. Holy shit, our scouts are going off the deep end with this, with this counting. Like, just give me a general number next time, holy shit. You have 85 fighters and 356 Varl at your side, so we're slightly outnumbered. Not as many Varl as there are Dredge, but we do have 85 uh, human fighters, I would say. If, even from here, you can see nervous glances amidst the enemy ranks. This looks like a good chance to press your advantage. Let us... Uh, I'm not sure what Oversee does. Is that us just watching the battle unfold? Uh, I, I would assume so. Uh, good chance to press your advantage, meaning charge! You consider taking your trusted allies and leading the charge, battering down the enemy. It will throw you into the thick of the battle. 
where fighting is most dangerous but a strong charge can save lives. Let's rush into battle. You gather your allies and tell them to get ready to lead the attack. Okay, we are now in the vanguard of the assault. Here we go, we're gonna grab Bercy as well for some reason. I'm not sure why he's dis- well, Yursa as well. They've both decided to join our merry band. Now we'll put Yursa right next to Luden, that way... Uh, that way she can keep an eye on him. Um, yeah, so for some reason they've decided to join our merry band. Uh, I guess they have no other option. But we're charging straight into the lines of the dredge here. Hopefully we'll knock a few slag down to the depths of whence they came. I'm not really sure. Okay, we've got, it appears, ooh, two of these dredge scourge and a few grunts. Quite a few grunts. Uh, it appears to be five of them, so we are slightly outnumbered, I think, but luckily we've got a huge amount of varl. Uh, our forces are slightly spread out, though, which is not uh, ideal, I would say. So we're going to have to put uh, Hawk in the middle? No. Someone with the best armor and health, and I think that would probably be Mogir. Hawkins not bad, but uh, we're going to have to throw him right there. Okay, well, if we're going to throw Hawken right there, we might as well spread our forces out even more so. There we go. That should be all right. Hopefully... Hopefully this goes well. I guess we're going to find out. It's been a while since I played, so I may <laughs> have just completely forgotten how to do literally anything. But, no, figuratively have forgotten everything. Um, Let's see, who is next? Uh, that fucker, that fucker, that fucker. So the, uh, the Dredge Scourges aren't going to play for quite a while, so we can probably... Uh, Position ourselves around a small group of these guys and will this work? No, I can't do that. Okay. Well, we'll end the turn for Hawken there But we can surround these guys uh, in the south corner here uh, and Hopefully we can demolish them before reinforcements arrive if you know what I mean. Okay, we'll bring the pain for this guy BAM and that didn't do anything. That's not the <laughs> power. I thought it was Gee golly, uh, Ganulf has the, uh, the Tempest power, which is very nice. I just gotta get him into position <laughs> in the middle of a bunch of guys, but unfortunately it's not gonna happen right now. So I might as well attack this Grunt right here, and we'll knock his strength down four points. Immediately bringing him, uh, weakening him, so he can't really do much damage. Uh, Luden, though, it's gonna be a little useless this battle, I think. Um... He might be able to do a bit of damage to some of these guys over here. Like I said, we'll try to corner uh, as many of these dredge in the in the corner uh, as we possibly can. Whilst we can, the scourges are moving next, though, which is not fantastic. Uh, luckily, Yadrissa, Yursa, my mistake, is well positioned here and is defended <laughs> from this scourge. We're going to take a few points of armor off this guy. So that Mogir can cut him down to size next turn. And, okay, uh, Bercy is able to move. I'm not sure what skills Bercy has. He also has Tempest. Um, and I'm sure he can do a little bit of damage to this Dredge here, but not much. Uh, we might as well knock a few armor points off. There we go. Now, the Scourge is going to attack Hawken. And he's done seven damage. Holy shite, that is quite a lot of damage right off the bat. Um... I'm sure we can actually do quite a bit to this guy because he doesn't have much armor. Sundering Impact. We'll uh, we'll test this out, see how well this does. Well, wow, it kind of split the damage there. Not the greatest, uh, but I'm sure Mogir can take this guy down to size right the fuck now. Six points, seven points of health, strength rather. And there we go. That Scourge is pretty much out of the game. Uh, I suppose Hawken is also out of the game, though. He only has five strength. Uh, here we go. We'll get Ganolf to have this grunt strength yet again. And now we've... Oh, shit. <laughs> Hawken is getting the shit kicked out of him. Uh, we could probably move him anytime soon now, I would think. Uh, but Luden is going to get the decisive killing blow on this uh, Scourge here. Which I'm sure just impresses the fuck out of Yersa here. She's uh, currently fawning and... Well, look at this. She's right next to him. And she is fawning over his uh, skills. And you know what? That's not a very good move for Yursa because she can't actually 
uh, shoot anything, but that's just fine for now. We are quickly getting surrounded, though, by these dredge. Gnolf is losing quite a lot of health. He's going to have to pull back soon. Gnolf and Hawken are nearly out of the game. Uh, Gnolf only has eight points. Hawken having four. Not ideal, but... Bearsy can knock an additional five strength off this. Grunt having his strength, and he has that special uh, passive ability where if you damage one unit and it is standing next to another, it uh, that unit also loses health there. That's what that was. I think that's Splinter or something to that effect, but Hawken is a little worse for wear here, so it can only do four armor breaking on that dredge, but I'm, I'm sure that eventually we'll be able to knock that guy out, and I think Mogear might be able to assist us here a little bit. Um, he's going to attack this guy for eight strength, which will n most definitely knock him out of the battle, and I think I will actually leave that grunt for now. I'm going to have to use Gnolf to uh, strengthen this line here. I'm going to have to move him over here. And we're going to try to seal up our lines whilst uh, these dredge come to fuck up our day. Luden can move... Uh, nowhere effectively. He can move here to knock out that grunt, but we really only want to attack that guy, so we'll just have to seal up those lines even further. So we've got one useless dredge back here and another that is very nearly out of the game already. And now we just need to deal with the uh, the oncoming attackers. Uh, Yersa is going to shoot this guy for a whopping three armor breaking, amazingly. There we go. And, uh, fucking Gnolf is taking a shit-kicking, as I previously mentioned, but, um, I think Bearsy is going to have to march forward, as he has uh, probably the majority of... No, actually, Mogir is at full health as well. Um, no, unfortunately, Bearsy can't attack anything here. Uh, I just wanted to move Bearsy out from the back of the lines so he can absorb... Oh, my shit. <laughs> Holy fucking Christ. That's uh, Bearsy out of the uh, game, basically. He's only got three health left, thanks to that Scourge just fucking his day. Um, unfortunately, Hawken only has three strength, so he can't do much damage, but we can most definitely take a few armor-breaking points off of that uh, that grunt there, rather. Uh, Mogir's going to have to move up to absorb some of these hits as well. We're going to knock... Uh, actually, let's take a look. Bring the Pain... See, I thought that was that Shield Bash ability that Ivor has, but... I think it's Ivor has that, that ability. But anyway, um, Mogir is going to have to do only three strength damage to this Grunt. We need to peg these guys' strength down quite a bit because they're just smashing through our... Um, <laughs> our Varl's armor right now. It's not the greatest, but we're going to get Gnolf to do a Tempest. We'll see how this does. Not bad, <laughs> only three points damage total not very good but uh hawken is now able to apparently deflect the majority of the damage that is incoming from those two grunts which is exactly what we intended oh shit uh, i need to get luden over near to that scourge but uh that's as far as we can go i'm actually going to move luden right here they can attack that Ooh, well we'll knock out this grunt right here and uh We'll have to deal with the rest uh, as they come. Gnolf only has one strength damage, not the greatest. I think we're probably going to uh, lose this battle. <laughs> a lot of our heroes are going to get knocked out uh, as a result of this. I guess we just weren't uh, weren't ready for this. But uh, we're going to knock four strength off this grunt. Thanks, Yursa. And now, uh, hopefully... No, that's it for Gnolf. Gnolf is down. He's the first to fall. I think Bersi is most likely the second. Because we have this Scourge here to deal with, uh, and we don't have too many opportunities to knock this guy down. He's got massive armor and massive strength, and there goes Bearsy. Um, Hawken is going to move to replace uh, Gnolf, I suppose, and then uh, probably not do much. We can take some strength off of this Grunt, but, or rather some armor off this Grunt, and that's about it. Uh, this guy's going to deflect once more off Hawken, and Mogir is going to have to engage this Scourge, I think, <laughs> as he is our strongest unit, and he can knock uh, two strength off this Scourge, unfortunately. I was hoping it would be more, but he's got too much armor. Uh, Mogir is about to take a shit-kicking, though, and that's not the greatest, but Luden is about to save the day. 
he's got to pierce the heart of some of these uh, grunts. And For example, we're going to knock down this grunt to one strength. There we go. That will slow the remaining units. Uh, I think that's the end of Hawk. Oh, shit. Hawken has survived yet another onslaught. He is a steel wall this battle. He is just deflecting blades left and right. Uh, I don't think he's even wearing armor, so those blades are just uh, sliding right off his bulging biceps, and that's really freaking hot. Uh, that's the sexiest thing I've seen all day. Um, Hawken has no choice but to knock out one of these grunts, so he's going to have to knock out this really weak guy, and there's an 80% chance that it... Uh... Oh, shit. I thought he would be able to knock out that Scourge, but, or that Grunt, rather. But, of course, he wasn't able to due to his strength. Mogir uh, will have to continue to peg this Scourge. Another... Uh, we'll do some armor damage, actually. Two points of armor damage there. And uh, here we go. Hawken is just continuing to deflect those, uh, those blades. Holy moly. Now, Luden is going to be able to do quite a bit of damage to this Scourge, I would say. He's been a... Uh, fairly decent damage dealer this battle and there we go seven points of damage to that scourge and I think we've actually got this in the bag uh, all it took was uh, Ganolf and Bercy biting the dust <laughs> but uh, we've come out successfully in this this battle 90% my god come on Yursa there we go one point uh, Hawken can continue continue to uh, absorb this damage and uh, attempt to slay some of these grunts. There we go. There's one down. Three more to go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hawken, it's it's getting pretty close there, buddy. Uh, I'm going to get Mogear to actually knock out some of these grunts. And Luden can finish off that other Scourge. And Yursa will be even more impressed, I'm sure. There's going to be a lot of uh, blushing and... Oh, shit. The Scourge is doing that crazy move where he summons reinforcements. So we're going to gonna have to get Luden here to uh, deal with that. There we go. Stab him right in the ass and uh, seal the deal. Hawken has taken yet another point of damage. He's only got one left. But Yursa is going to shut it down right now. One arrow between the eyes. Blammo. And then we've only got this one last uh, grunt to go. And Hawken yet again has deflected that blade. Uh, slash mace. I'm not sure how you deflect a blunt weapon. Uh, I couldn't tell you, and I'm quite interested to find out, actually. But anyway, Hawken is going to uh, attempt to deal the killing blow here. And there we go. There it is. We have uh, we've won the battle, but I don't think we have yet won the war. Uh, you take a moment to survey the battlefield. The enemy is being pushed back all the way down the line. Nice. You could take this opportunity to pull back and leave combat immediately. On the other hand, chasing down more dredge would rally your fighters and save a few lives. You won't have time to rest or change your party, but a chance to loot your enemies might might even reveal items they took from previous victims. Okay. Our party took a bit of a beating that last battle. Um, but I don't... I'm not sure if we would be able to sustain another. Uh, but I'm going to take the risk. Let us kill a few more as they flee. Uh, this will save the lives of many of our men in the long run, and I think... Uh, the health of your army is more important than the health of your party, I guess. That's what that's what I'm gonna say right now. <laughs> of course, the game may change my opinion as I continue playing. I'm not really sure, but anyway, we are going to kill a few more as they flee. You attack any dredge, still brave enough to face you. Here we go. Oh shit! I didn't realize it. Oh my no! <laughs> I didn't realize it was gonna be like this. Um, I thought maybe our party members would be. Uh brought back to life, but that's not how it's working, apparently. Uh, so all we've got is Hawken with one uh, strength point, rather, health point, whatever you want to call it. Mogir and Luden who remain untouched, and also Yersa, but I'm not sure she's going to remain untouched for long. Um, no, we've got to eliminate this uh, grunt before he gets a hold of her. There's not much Hawken can do this battle because he uh, he's only got one strength point and he's not going to be able to pierce the armor uh, armor of our enemies. That is going to be up to Mogir and Luden. I'm not sure what's going to happen if we uh, if we fail this battle. I'm sure it's going to be of some sort of negative consequence. That's worse than if we had you know rather not fought the battle anyway. But I guess this is a a good learning experience overall. 
Holy shit, luton has got quite the stance there. He's a bit of a prick, but you know what? He is he is a fighter, as has been said. Okay, there goes Hawken. Um, he's bit the dust, and now it's just Yersa and Luden and Mogir, and we don't have any exertion points. We don't have anything, really, and this was a poor decision on my part, but we'll have to see it through. As you make your bed, you have to lie on it, I suppose. Okay, Mogir is able to knock down, knock uh, some strength points, actually, off this grunt. We need to weaken these units as fast as possible. We don't want them to crush our armor as, you know, any further than they can, uh, any further than they have, rather, because uh, we don't have any armor to spare. Uh, Luton is actually going to do quite a bit of damage to that grunt, not entirely knock him out. Uh, but there we go, Yursa is now taking damage. She is in the line of fire, but I'm I'm hoping that uh, she can't actually fire that close to her uh, herself, actually. She can fire at this grunt, but that's about it. One point of armor break. It's all we got. <laughs> Mogir is going to have to deal with this grunt next turn. And Yursa is actually going to be absorbing five points of strength damage right there. Holy moly. Um, So we're going to take out this grunt here. And uh, I think Mogir is gonna gonna get the shit kicked out of him eventually by these uh, these the scourge that's come, and also this stone guard, which is a whole other type of situation. So it appears that uh, the scourge have quite a bit of strength, and the stone guard have quite a bit of uh, defense. So that's 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 nice. That's certainly something. Okay, Luden is going to attempt to do as much damage as possible to this grunt. Four points. And that's his last exertion point. So what we have is what we have, basically. But it appears that Mogir is uh, going to be taking a lot of damage in these upcoming turns. Uh, he's going to be doing two points of damage to this freaking stone. Oh, no, that's not the stone guard, but that's the scourge. And uh, now, now Luden is going to be doing his best. Okay, so we've basically nullified that grunt. And we're just going to leave him for as long as possible, but we, we've got dwindling strength here on Mogir, and dwindling armor. And, okay. So that was certainly something. Mogir now has no armor, but neither does our uh, Scourge friend, so Luden's all over it. He's going to be doing 10 points, uh, 9 points, I suppose, here. Blammo. Um, so that uh, Scourge is quickly losing strength, but so is Mogir. Um... And I suppose he's going to have to face off square with this Stone Guard. Because that's the only option we have right now. The Stone Guard is the strongest unit on the field. Um, but now this Scourge is doing some freaky deaky shit in the corner here. Luden's going to have to take care of that. Uh, post haste, here he goes. Holy shit, Luden is racking up the kills here. He has <laughs> put down three Dredge Scourge this turn by himself. And now, it's, that's all it is. It's just Luden and this Stone Guard. If he can pull this off, uh, well, I might just shit my pants right where I stand. Uh, but it's not looking good. One point, two points of armor damage there. And the Stone Guard is too strong for Luden. It's quickly going south. Uh, there we go. This Grunt is also getting in the mix, which is not fantastic. Uh, three points of Damage to Luden each turn, um, and that's all we got. <laughs> it's basically the end here. Basically the end for Luden, who is able to deflect that assault. Uh, but he's got one strength point left. And we'll just do uh, an additional armor break on this stone guard. Make it a little bit easier for the next guy coming around. But there we go. We've lost five fighters and lost 22 Varl. But uh, we racked up quite a few kills. Um... So is that all we lost from the entire war, or was that just from me losing the battle? I suppose we'll find out. But we have gained 11 renown for getting the shit kicked out of us, which is slightly odd. But there we go. I'm going to continue, and we'll find out what is going on here. Okay, apparently um, we didn't lose too many fighters. You black out as you fall and come to again amongst the warriors who were able to escape the battle. They carried you from the scene. You've lost a lot of good warriors. Not much left to do, but push on. Okay, so there doesn't seem to be much um, repercussions to <laughs> losing that battle, uh, other than my party, of course, is injured. But uh, given 
one day, three days, three days max, our party will be uh, up and running at max capacity yet again. Three days though, that's quite a long time. Quite a long time on the road. Um, I suppose we can rest for a day, just for the hell of it. We've got 69 days of supplies. And we've got good morale, actually, so you know what? Uh, let's just hit the road again. I don't see any reason to rest. We have good morale, and uh, that was it, I guess. A war. Mogir comes to you sporting a dour expression. There are more warriors than usual claiming illness lately. I don't think they're faking it. I've seen them vomiting or stumbling around. Humans seem to be suffering from something, too. Are we pushing too hard? Some kind of disease? Something to do with the dredge? Good question. I doubt Mogir would know, but I can't prove anything, but I think some of the rations may have been poisoned. Before you can respond, he continues. Don't spread paranoia. It may be nothing. I found nothing wrong with the food, and most of us aren't ill. What do you think? Uh, we can keep some trusted Varl on watch, keep asking around, threaten the group. Uh, no need to foster suspicion. Might not be the food. Uh, let's find some other connection here. We're gonna go CSI on these assholes <laughs> and uh, route... Uh, root out the, uh, the moles slash poisonies, poisoners, poisonies, we are the poisonies actually. Uh, we're looking for the poisoners. A couple hours later, Mogir comes to you again. I don't see any pattern to it. Some of the sick have faced dredge, while others haven't. Some admit to feeling tired, while others are well rested. Aside from the pains, I don't know. You both agree to keep an eye out for anything unusual. Alright, so, Mogir apparently wasn't able to find any connections between any of the afflicted. And I assume this is going to be some sort of story arc that goes over the next few days. Luton has been sending scouts ahead quicker and more nimble than your Varl. One rushes back just as you cross the hilltop, out of breath. <sighs> Dredge! That direction, you overhear him tell Luton. About a day away. <clears throat> they found a village. You ask what they're doing. Tearing the place apart, he says. Maybe a thousand of them, or more, looking for God knows what. This will be a bigger fight than usual. Luden is uncharacteristically silent, waiting to see what you say. Um, let us... get closer before making a move. We need some intel here. You set out at a slow march, moving as quietly as an army can. <laughs> It'll be another half day before you spy the village. When they come into view, you'll make a plan. Good. Okay, so here's the village here, I would assume. And there is quite a bit of dredge around, it looks like. These little specks uh, on the horizon. Unfortunately, only two days have passed since we got the shit kicked out of us, so I don't think our party is yet ready to fight. Uh, not max capacity, anyway. Uh, max <laughs> ability. With the village still a day away, you're eating on the march. Avarl approaches. We had words earlier, says Gris. You recall him claiming that he didn't care for your command. You were right in what you did. Let me join your guard and fight at your side. Pride hangs on his posture and sincerity in his eyes. You protect me... You've got one shot. One shot. Okay. You tell him to report to Mogir. I don't sit in the back lines. Make a mistake and you'll get your head caved in. Nobody will lose sleep over it. He nods and goes to speak with Mogir. Okay, so we've just put uh, good old Gris in line. And I think he's probably joined our party now. Uh, some much needed reinforcements. You're close enough to hear Dredge rattling through the buildings below. The village seems to slither. Pull them out of the houses, Mogir suggests. Slag can't resist an ambush. We'll have better luck in an open field. Uh, we can take the fight to them or skirt the village. We need to, uh, we can't skirt the village. Uh, A, there's a lot of people in that village probably being killed or they have been killed. Uh, and secondly, we, uh, we swore an oath to kill as many slag, dredge, whatever you want to call them as possible. And I think we have to uphold that oath. So we're going to take the fight to them. Let's see what that, uh, how that goes. You send your shield bangers forward to get their attention. Before long, the dredge have gathered, ready for a fight. Okay. Uh, okay, we've got yet another war here, uh, but I think before we continue, I ought to end it here. And next episode, we will continue with this war, fight this battle, liberate the village, loot some treasures, uh, maybe find some people to drag along with us. I'm not sure. But anyway, as always, thank you for watching, everyone. I'll see you next video.